Hello guys, this is Orof and a warm welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna do some very interesting experiments and I'm gonna reduce my resonance to zero and then attack the training dummy. And I'm also gonna bring a friend to the training dummy and ask him to do the same thing. And the reason why I want to do this is because I want to show you in a efficient way how important it is to build your character correctly and how much of an impact it makes and after watching this video you will probably realize that someone with 2000 resonance can often deal a lot more damage than someone who has eight or nine thousand resonance and uh, therefore i want you to pay really close attention to what I'm about to say in this video and one of the main reasons why I made this video is because when I've uploaded my recent gauntlet video I received a few comments that this type of content is only for people with high resonance and I hope that this video might showcase why this is not cor the correct assumption and the correct conclusion. So let's first look at the training dummy run i did together with my friend and before attacking the training dummy i made sure that we had the exact same set combination and i also made sure that we had the same essences that we used the same paragon and also used the same warband room uh, just to make sure that we were as equal as possible uh, when it came to those things and now you can see that at the training dummy with zero resonance I managed to do almost exactly twice as much damage compared to my friend. So this means that if we take away all resonance and all legendary gem effects I still managed to deal twice as much damage as my friend. And when we have this knowledge now we can start uh, crunching some numbers. Since I deal twice as much damage compared to my friend here, uh, it means that when I have managed to deal 100,000 damage, my friend has managed to deal 50,000 damage. Okay, so let's start uh, experimenting a little bit. Let's uh, begin with uh, upgrading my friend's build a little bit and let's increase his resonance to 8,000. When we increase his resonance to 8000, it will approximately increase his total base damage by 122%. And in order to increase his resonance to 8000, we're going to use the following gems. So we're going to use a rank 10 Blood Soak Jade, which will give him 24% increased damage. We will give him a Bottle Hope rank 10 which will also give him 24% increased damage when the effect is active. And we're also going to give him some other uh, rank 10 5 star gems. We're going to give him Spiteful Blood, Starfire Shard, Seeping Bile, Frozen Heart, Swenson's Haunting and Hellfire Fragment. And uh, if we look at these gems, they will add a total of 48% increased damage from the Blood Soaked Jade and the Bottled Hope. Uh, of course, if we look at a gem like Starfire Shard or Seeping Bile, they will do some extra damage. But uh, in the big scheme of things, when we are attacking the training dummy or when we are in a gauntlet, for example, uh, this uh, extra damage will not uh, be that impactful at all. So therefore, we're not going to uh, make any calculations on, on those numbers because they are so small in the big picture. And we can then calculate uh, exactly what his damage would have been if he would use this setup here. So um, first, if we take his damage, when I managed to do 100k, he managed to do 50k because I did twice as much damage. And when we increased his resonance uh, to 8k, we also increased his base damage by 122%. So then we have to... Uh, what we have to do then is that we have to multiply his initial damage, 50k, uh, with 2.22 to add those 122%. And 
and then we also have to multiply it again uh, by 1.48 to add those damage modifiers from Blood Soaked Jade and Bottle Hope. And this will give us a new number which is 164,280. So if my friend would have equipped these gems here that I, uh, that I highlighted, uh, he would, instead of 50,000 damage, do 164,280 damage, approximately, of course. If we then go and look at uh, at my uh, initial damage, which which was 100,000 or 100k, um, let us uh, now make a build with 2,030 resonance. So I'm gonna equip a Blood Soaked Jade rank four. I'm gonna equip Bottle Hope rank four, a Pain Class rank ten, a Bloody Reach rank ten, and Berserker's Eye rank ten. And I'm also going to use an Echoing Shade at rank 3, a Royal and Consequence at rank 3, and the Mother's Lament at rank 10. And if we look at this uh, specific uh, gem composition, it's super, super strong for PvE. And uh, this is 100% achievable as free to play. It will take some time uh, as free to play to get these gems up to these ranks, but it's 100% possible. And uh, also if you are someone who maybe gets the battle pass and an occasional bundle, this will be very achievable, okay? And uh, when we have a build with 2030 resonance, it means that the base damage uh, would have increased by 31% uh, for me. Uh, and uh, we also have to add the legendary gem effects which would add up to 91 percent so if i would use this build uh, with 2030 resonance uh, my new damage would be uh, 100,000 times uh, 1.31 to add the 31 percent from the increased base damage plus no uh, multiplied by 1.91 to add the damage modifiers from the legendary gems and then my new damage would have been 250,000 instead of 100,000. So we can see here that I would have utilized a, a build around 2,000 resonance and I would almost deal twice as much damage as someone who uses a build with 8,000 resonance. And just to uh, make this even clearer, uh, let's pretend that my friend instead would use a random 3.2k resonance build. And uh, we're going to use the same gems uh, as uh, the 8k build, but we're going to put the gems at rank 4, all of them. And uh, with 3200 resonance, it would increase his base damage by approximately 49%. And uh, with... Uh, with these damage modifiers from the legendary gems here, uh, he would get a total of 27% from Blood Soaked Jade and Bottled Hope. And if we would then calculate uh, his new damage compared to when he was at zero resonance, we would get 50,000 multiplied by 1.49 to add the uh, increase of base damage from 3.2k resonance. And then we would multiply it again by 1.27 to add the 27% from the legendary gem modifiers. And then his new damage would have been uh, around uh, 95k instead of 50k as it was at the beginning. And what kind of conclusions can we uh, make based on this? Uh, it is true that most players in Diablo Immortal, they have not focused at all on how they are building their characters. So let's take my friend here, for example. He has a very good build, but it's a little bit more uh, pivoted towards uh, Demon Hunters or, or PvP. Uh, so yeah, if he goes over to play a Necromancer, uh, as he, he tries out now, of course he's not specced for it. But what I wanted to say is that most players in Diablo Immortal, they are not specced properly. And of course, if... We pretend that, that I have a setup uh, the same as my friend. And then I have another guy with the same setup as me. 
and then I equip this random 3.2k resonance build while he equips this kind of random uh, 8k resonance build. Uh, of course, uh, my conclusion will be that, wow, uh, he deals so much more damage than me because uh, he has uh, so much uh, more resonance. And uh, when I go to Gauntlet, I will not be able to, uh, to, uh, to succeed because my resonance is way too low. So this content is only for whales. This might be my conclusion. But in reality, if we look at uh, the example here where I would use a, a build around 2000 resonance, I would uh, out damage uh, the 8K build uh, by, by a great, great uh, margin. Uh, so this means that in reality, the reason uh, that you might be struggling uh, in Gauntlet 6, for example, is not because uh, you don't have enough resonance. It is because you have not built your character properly. So uh, what I'm urging you to do going forward is to really look at the magical attributes of your items. You have to look on your reforges. You have to look at every detail of your build. And most of the details that will affect your output is actually something that you can work on to improve without uh, uh, having to think about your resonance or having to think about uh, getting eternal crests, etc, etc. This is for everyone in the game. So if you just play the game as it should be played, if you're aiming to increase your output, uh, you're going to be able to do so with limited resources. And this is why I really wanted to make this video to educate you about the possibilities. And this is uh, how someone who is free to play can deal more damage than someone with eight or nine thousand resonance uh, if you just uh, uh, focus on uh, how you're building your character. So uh, I know that this video was maybe a little bit theoretical, but I hope I managed to to, to highlight what I wanted to here. And if you're interested in diving deeper into exactly how damage is calculated, I have made an ultimate DPS guide where I go through the formula and I really recommend you to watch it because uh, by doing so you will gain a lot of knowledge that will help you to make informed decisions and that's very important. And uh, if you have any type of questions, uh, of course, I, I want you to post them down here in the comments. And uh, if there's something you don't understand or any other thoughts, please let me know. And uh, before we say goodbye, I want to wish you a very nice day or a very nice evening wherever you are. And of course, to all of my clan members in Nyx, I would also like to say Voruk Nyx, Sholak Sol. So, bye-bye. choice you will ever make subscribe to our channel hit the bell a piece of cake subscribe to our channel let me tell you one more time subscribe to